Waimea Valley will wrap up their summer concerts on Saturday, August 27th with a great lineup put together by MC Meliapana. We're going to go out with a bang. We got Del Beasley. We got uh, my friends from my island of Kauai, Kupawa. We got from the big island of Hawaii, Mark Yamanaka, the Lim Ohana, Kavika Kahiapo, and a childhood friend of mine, Kumuhula, Hiva Vaughn, and her halal. In part two of her interview, she talks about her radio career and life after Hawaiian 105 Kind FM. Some things never change, but I was always a, I was always a class leader. I was really rascal. Um, when I went to Kamehameha, I was a song leader for four years for the co-ed. Um, I was really active. I was in concert glee. I was in band. I was in speech. Um, so yeah, I was, I was the poster child of Kamehameha schools. You know, really kolohe, but I excelled in school. You know, I excelled, especially when it comes to performing arts. Um, it's so funny because I had 180 hours of detention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but I never did an hour of detention because I was friends with the janitors. But it was, you know, yeah, I was, I was, I was still the same. Well, with radio, uh, I remember I went to Don Ho's one night at the Aloha Tower with Lena Girl. And this is maybe like 19 years ago. Uh, we were in the parking lot. She introduced me to Davy D, who was the program director at that time. And I remember cracking a joke. His, his wife was Hapai. And I said, oh, you're, she's cute. Her pimple is cute. And the next day, uh, Lena, Lena called me and she said, sister, have you ever thought about being in radio? And I said, I, I grew up in radio. I've been in radio since I was a baby. Um, so she goes, can you, come in, can you come and visit us? And I became Billy V's intern within 24 hours. So I was Billy V's intern on KCCN FM 100. He was on a morning show with Charlie and PP. And after a couple of weeks, I became the afternoon partner uh, to Davey D on KCCN FM 100. And that was, um, gosh, 17, 17, 18 years ago. Me and Billy, it's real, genuine aloha that we have for each other and respect. So what you hear on radio, like our energy, the chemistry that you hear, uh, when you see he and I on, on, on TV or on stage, it's a natural chemistry. And it's because we are good friends. He's one of my best friends off air, you know. So even though like right now, he's on Hawaii News now, I teach school, we kind of do our own thing, but uh, we still work a lot together and the chemistry is natural. It's because we are, we are good friends. You know, a lot of people um, in like in a professional radio world, they just go and 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 uh, play the parts on air. But for me and Billy V, we're like brother and sister. November 2014, you know, I, I was uh, blindsided. That's the that's the right word to describe it. I was blindsided. I remember getting called into the general manager's office about 9:30 in the morning, and that's kind of like the ending of our show. So they called me to the office and they handed me a paper and they said, oh, no offense, um, you're great at what you do. Everybody loves you. Your ratings are super high. You got over a million listeners, but it's about, um, it's about money. And so today is your last day. And I said, um, I do what I do because I love our music and my people and my community, you know, so my, my mana is good. And because of that, I looked him straight in the eye and I said, as soon as, as soon as I exit your office, I'm going to land on my two feet. I didn't even know how to explain it. It was just like, like when, it was like a weird aha moment. So Billy was like, come, come, stand by me. We're on in 30 seconds. And he was like, where did you go? So I was, I was kind of squeezing his hand. And I said, and I showed him the paper. I said, oh, I just got let go. There's a budget cut. So he, he was kind of, you know, taken back at the moment. And so as soon as we were done TV, uh, they caught him into the, into the office and we, we didn't even have two seconds to even chat. So they pulled him in and half an hour he came back and he said, I'm going to walk out with you. He's like, I'm not, I told him, I'm not, I'm not doing this show without Mele. So that's what happened. So nobody knew what happened because we didn't have a chance to tell our listeners goodbye. Again, when you do, when your purpose, when you have this, when you have uh, your integrity is about your people, your culture, your music, and you do things that is porno, you know what I mean? When your energy and your mana uh, is on the right path, it's, it's totally going to be okay. They, got, they always said everything happens for a reason. I remember at that moment, I was like, what do I do? Like, that's all I know. That's all I love is, is radio. And after radio, um, I got actually more busy. 
I, you know, I MC, I MC actually like three times more gigs. I'm in high demand. I also sing at Halikulani, House Without a Key. Uh, I also teach school at Malama Honua Public Charter School. I'm the music teacher and um, by me being off air, I could be myself. I can be honest and transparent and if I need to stick up um, for the small guy, for the little guy, stick up for our people, um, talk about taking care of, of our community, our land. And I knew if I was on radio, I would probably got fired. <laughs> so. Um, that's what I'm saying, my voice became more powerful when I left radio, so everything had to happen for a reason.